This is what I got going on today. Thanks for checking out Smoking with Bush. Doing up these beef short ribs from the Chuck Roast. And as you can see, look like I got shorted on one of these bad boys. But on these other ones, though, plenty of good meat on there. I'm going to get those all seasoned up. And I already got my pressure cooker going here. Got a little grapeseed oil in there. And as far as the seasonings I'm going to use, just salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm going to throw a bay leaf and some onion powder. Because, of course, I forgot to buy an onion for this. But And then I'll throw a little bit of beef stock as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this seasoned. Check me out. In here acting like I know what I'm doing. And they're searing this meat, though. I mean, that's how you gotta do it, though. Oh, yeah. Right. And there's one where they shorted me on the meat. You know, that one decided to fall over, but we're getting it going. I'm going to sear the other two sides, and then I'll begin adding the liquid and getting this moving forward. All right, so apparently I didn't put enough liquid in here. I thought one bottle of the beef stock would be enough. I started smelling something burning after about 40 minutes. And needless to say, the bottom is burned and the short ribs are done. So, I'm going to salvage what I can, get them on a the plate, and give them a taste. So, I salvaged what I could, you know, from the meat itself. As you can tell here, you got the burnt pieces, and this was the only one that came out pretty good just because the bone was on the underside of it that burnt. So note to self, use a lot of liquid when using a pressure cooker. I'm going to get us a taste test, see how it came out. Alright, this is what we got. I mean, it cuts apart pretty easily. Pretty tender, I must say. I'm going to try a bite. Wish me luck. All right, there it is. I mean, it looks pretty good. Let's see what it's talking about. It's tender, a lot of flavor, and it would be delicious if I didn't burn it. So note to self, use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of liquid when using a pressure cooker. And just keep an eye on it. But until next time, keep on smoking.